Welcome back everyone to an episode of Austria, where guys, we are just chilling here back in the Austrian country where, as you guys last know, the last thing I did in my industry was I basically unsubsidized everything and basically like said, hey, I'm done trying to subsidize all you factories. You factories have to actually grow. Okay, I'm done doing the stupid mommy BS. Okay, you're going to grow or you're going to die. Okay, okay. But after thinking about it for a while, I realized there are a couple factories I actually do need to keep alive. And that's mainly like my gun producing factories. And my gun producing factories. And my, can well mostly my gun, my canneries and my gun producing factories are the two factories I need to stay in business. I mean the rest of them can go. I, I really don't care about an advanced or an iron machine parts factory. They can go. But, like, my gun producing factories really need to stay around. Because they kind of do help me out keep the population down in their own special ways. So, yeah. <laughs> I kind of need both. Um, plus, where would our country be without the great and mighty guns? Uh, Clipper Shipyards, I'm actually going to delete this. Because we actually don't need that anymore. Clippers are actually out of date. And I should be actually starting to delete all my clippers. But... I'm really lazy, so it, it really comes short. Wait, why do I have two? Okay, delete this one. We don't need two. We, we honestly don't need two factories in the same place. That's just a waste of space. Like, I, I don't mind if you have, like, one there, but, like, two? That's just a waste of space. So, yeah, we're just going to get all the ammunition factories and all the gunpowder factories and subsidize them. And all the cannery factories, because they... Because we really do not want them to die. I'm really being serious here, people. We really, really don't want them to... Actually, this one could probably die. Because it doesn't really provide much to the overall benefit of me. Uh, yeah, you can stay alive. You can stay alive. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Clippers. Why do I still have clippers in my country? Oi. Yeah, this is, this is the first time I'm really having you guys subject to micro. And I hate... What... One thing I do, one thing I do dislike about the factory system in this game, which I also love, is the fact it's so diverse and it's so big that you have to do so many things. I mean, seriously, that took three minutes of just time and effort, and yeah, they, okay, I'm gonna stop complaining now. So, anyways, guys, we're gonna move it, move in all of our troops and start making this new gigantic army. And also, guys, since I've kind of realized that you can conquer after. After the whole France fiasco and them taking all of Egypt, I realized basically that we can basically go in here and conquer almost any, any, any uncivilized nation that we want. So basically, I could go into some state like Persia. Well, maybe not right now because I need to decrease relations. But I could go into some state like Persia and go conquer them. All of Persia, that 1.75 million population with... All their really good land that usually, well, right now it's not really discovered because they don't have good, well, they do have some of its iron discovered, but usually insanely good land. We can basically go in and go conquer, and that sounds so good to me! Oh, man! <laughs> oh, you guys don't even know. You guys don't even know. Okay. And I've been giving a lot of thought about the Dan Duberian Federation formation thing, E. And I've basically decided off camera that I do believe I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry to all the people that want me to form it. And I'm sorry to, you know, maybe those Hungarians that wanted to see, or Austrians that wanted to see their dream realized. It's just, it's, <sighs> switches to capitalism. Yeah, seriously, switches to capitalism. Ooh. Especially in these places that have high amounts of people, capitalism will be very effective there. Um, uh, Yeah, I basically... You know, I basically, like, forgot what I was going to say. So, you guys are going to have to give me a second. Because I completely forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, don't you guys just hate when that happens when you're, like, right in the middle of a thought. And you're like, huh, I'm going to be doing something really epic and profound. But I forgot what I was going to say. So, um, right now we have a couple different things we can do. And really, I, I'm still surprised I'm keeping up with the times in terms of, like, Navy. Like, literally, usually, I just keep Navy and be like, eh, Navy, it's good, kind of, not really, I don't really care, but, yeah, usually I don't keep up with Navy that well, but for some reason, this game, I'm really keeping up with it, and apparently, some factories have closed down, 
we're going to destroy them because, like I said, I don't really care too much about machine parts. Machine parts isn't what my industry is built on, really. And long live the Emperor! Oh, basically, oh yeah, it was Emperor Cersei's guys. Basically, or Sissy. Not Cersei, Cersei, no. No, would I ever let her come to power. But, it's basically Emperor Sissy. Okay, stop it, stop moving. I'm just trying to delete all these factories so that my capitalists can grow more factories. Because now they have tons of workers. If the problem was is that they didn't have enough workers, they have a plenty of workers now. Literally, we have workers coming out the wazoo. I mean, I'm not even joking, we literally have workers just like, Hey, can I have a job? And I'm like, sure, go get a job. And I know this is probably the, costing me the most of anything, but honestly, we need these jobs. But, by the way, if my people ask for low subsidies right about now, like, they get me any of these reforms right about now, I don't, well, especially this one. I don't think I'm going to be able to grant it. No, 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 wait, wait. It's not that one that's going to kill me. It's going to be this one. Wait, no, no, no. Which one is it that's going to be really... Oh, there it is. Right there, the pensions. The pensions are going to kill me. If they... If right now my people ask for pensions, I'm going to have a terrible time. Because right now I have literally... Insane amounts of unemployment. Insane amount. So, we really got to be worrying about that. And let's keep decreasing relationships with Persia. Because we really want... That whole conquest thing to happen. I really want it to happen at least. Uh, with Brazil, how are we doing in terms of making progress with them? We are friendly with them, but I don't think we're ever going to be able to come back into the into the good grace. Colombia, how are we doing with Colombia? We might as well start investing some points in Colombia. Well, actually, wait, wait, no, we can't because France is already there, so we can't just yet. Well, let's see. We still got Venice on Venezuela on the side. Good. Argentina, we could probably start investing. Oh yeah, we are investing into Argentina. Good. My brain's already thinking ahead of me, which is good. And then we also have all of our little tiny friends next to us, like Italy, France, Germany, who has absolutely no allies. In Germany, you really gotta be my friend. Like, free people against- I really don't care, you guys go mess with Persia if you want to, they're gonna soon be my little buddies. Okay? As long as you guys- Ottomans, I'll make you a deal. As long as you don't take too much of their land, you can have it, okay? Just, I want to take all the land and all and all the provisions so that I may have another state over here and have a potentially better base. I keep having more and more factories crumble before me, which is not exactly the greatest thing ever to happen in your country. But, at least, at the very least, it's teaching all the factories to start growing a little bit more. Why? I have a pharmaceutical plant? Huh. I did not know that about me. <laughs> I did not know I cared so much about the, about the welfare of my people. I mean, I halfway care, but I really don't. I, I, if, if, I swear, my people ever ask me to make a speech and say the, my honest opinions about them, I'd be like, well, I honestly only consider you guys cattle for the win, and really, you're just here to serve my whims and to feel the, the desire of me trying to control the entire empire and crush the entire world underneath my uh, um, aristocratic ideas. So, yeah. Anything else you guys want to know? Like, why do I always why do I always endorse capital punishment? <laughs> well, that's a different story. But study circle, I really don't care. Just give me prestige. Oh shoot, I made the conservatives mad. That's really bad. Okay, but yeah, we got more people we can make. Okay, what do we actually? I think we actually do need to make more people. So let's make like five people in the new land and the restoration of Greece. Diplomats from Greece have quietly approached us appealing for help in restoring our long lost lands with Austria. They say Greece will, will prove a might much worthier ally. They are those concerned with the trouble this might stir up. However, should we look the other way or prove Austria Hungarian influence has weight? Tell them we shall consider it. Hmm. Let's see. Greece will gain our. Uh, okay. So basically, this makes, this just makes the Ottomans mad, which. You know what? I don't, I don't really care, so yeah, please. Please, let's just keep making the Ottoman. I, I really just. A past. A national. The Austrian national pastime is just to make the Ottomans mad. Okay, can I even declare war on them right I can't declare war on them right now. And I can better also declare war on France, but I'm not really in the mood to. And UK! I'm not in the war. Why would I need a unification war against. Okay. Yeah, they really gotta get that bug. That bug fixed fixed because that's really annoying the fact I still get unification wars against even the UK even though like literally I have no reason to be at war with these guys so 
Yeah. Anyways, though, with these guys, if I go to war with the Ottomans, I basically go to war against the Netherlands. So, if I go to war right now, I could potentially be at war with the Netherlands. And I should also decrease relationships there. Which is such a scary thought that I could not bear it. In I in so much of a scary thought that I could not bear it, it must be naturally ranked that I'm going to free the Balkans and give back Greece all of its course. I don't really know why I'm going to do this. It's just, I'm just going to do this just because I can. It really doesn't, really has, oh, oh, Spain, you jerk. You guys are in my sphere still, right? Yes. Okay, that was a jerk move. You two, America. You guys have been... Seriously, America, you guys have been doing that for, like, years. Like, seriously, you guys have been just been like, Hey, we're going to be on your side in this war, but no, we aren't. Okay, and it seems like I went to war against the Netherlands. Oh, you you poor defenseless Netherlands. You guys are... You guys are going to seek your people. It's so cute. Okay, and while we're also on the subject, let me justify a establish a protectorate against Persia. Let's go take the rest of the land for the mighty, I guess, Greek Empire. I really don't care. See, you guys are- You guys- Man, America, you guys are so hot and cold, it's really weird. It's like almost- Seriously, this is like the weirdest relationship I've ever had with America. They're like happy one minute and then mad the other minute. It's like, you guys don't want me to go- I, Then you too- Actually, Spain's more of just, yeah, we, we want to rebel this one time to show our independence, but we kind of realized that was a bad idea, so we're coming back. As you should. As you should. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go contribute like two armies down here because I have a feeling that my men will be kind of stupid. A lot of these guys will be very stupid, especially Romania, who's probably the best vassal I have for this job, and yet they are like the idiots of the group. They don't know how to go and go fight. Uh, Alright, and then I also have our Netherlands people who are probably going to attack me on some kind of island. Yep! <laughs> Knew it! So called it! Uh, don't really care though. I mean, literally, it doesn't really matter that much. Their total strength... Netherlands' total strength is literally 81. My total strength is 300. If I really care about this war, I could go destroy him in a second. In fact, if if our good friends are Germany, hey Germany, would you give me military access? No. Oh, can I give you military access? Then you trust us more? No. Okay, it seems like we can't get military access. So I would basically have to go send my troops all the way around to go and. <sighs> Ottomans, I would not do that. I would not do that if I was you. Also, apparently, I can also upgrade some of my forts, and I love doing that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Upgrade forts, upgrade forts, yay! Also, upgrade my naval bases. Alright, I love upgrading forts, I love upgrading naval bases. Those are two things I love in this game. Also, hating it, I also hate it sometimes, but at the same time, I also love it. Because this gives me so much power. Alright, and let's see, also over here, Mombasa. Don't really have much control over, over there, but I do have some. And then Djibouti. Alright, what else? And then, we also have some over here, but they're going to get conquered here soon. So I'll just go over here to this little island. Start conquering it. Well, not conquering it, just expanding it. So it'll become more like us. Expand this part. Expand this part. And then I guess Pyongyang can be the uh, main, main uh, naval place up over there. So, there we go. Do we Can we upgrade these ones? No, I think these ones are already upgraded to the maximum of their ability. So... Now what we're going to do is we're basically going to go find my one of my fleets. Which one is it? The Austrian? No, this is the, the Austrian Imperial Navy. That's the one I just kind of made because I wanted to make it. This one's the one that actually has a decent amount of steam transports, but really no men. So I'm just going to go dock this up nearer to my uh, empire, and we're just going to go have it transfer some um, men to go help us in the war. Um, really, this war down here against the Ottomans really should not be that difficult. I'm sending in one army to go help, just in case. Really, do I think it's going to require that much? No. <laughs> it's really just going to be me just going to go in and go kill them. But, just to be sure that my men know how to fight, I'm sending in 
one good sized army to go help them out. Uh, also, it seems like the Netherlands think they're people, so I'm gonna go destroy them. And yeah. Oh, by the way, of course, this has to be said sometimes, just in case if somebody gets really hurt about me making fun of their country. It's whoever's Netherlands, I'm only making fun of it in the game. Okay, I like you. The Netherlands are pretty cool people in real life, but like in this game, I think they're doing a suicide pact for trying to defend a little sphere of influence. Like, this is basically a suicide pact, and I bet they even know that. Like, even in this game, I'm pretty sure they know that they're making a suicide pact. Okay, so I have to make build this up to about eight troops again. So that make that makes six. So then seven, eight. That was kind of counterproductive because I could have just done one unit, but that's okay. And apparently there's like an entire that's really taking a lot of it for me. Okay, you guys go right there, you guys go right there. Quickly do this do everything. Everyone go. We will conquer everything. Because we basically have nothing else to do. Oh, and look, the Ottomans are really trying to fight me. <laughs> oh gosh, you guys are... You, oh, I could also... I just realized, I could also go and go take the last little bit of... Of land I need from the Ottomans. And you know what, I think that's what I'll make this war really about. It's a fact we wanted the rest of their colonies. Because we fear the Ottomans' ambition for colonial conquest. Yeah, that's what I'll say. That's what I'll say to the populace. Is that... We're really doing this for the, for the safety and protection for our sovereignty. There's some kind of event that just happened. I'm pretty sure it's not going to cause me death, so I'm just going to ignore it. And yeah, we really... I, I, I don't know what Netherlands is going to try to accomplish with its army, but really, I just need one army over here and it could go squash everything they try to come after me. And over here, literally, I don't know where my... Hey, guys, stop moving. Why did I I don't know quite why I said two armies to go down here and gonna go help. But I guess two armies is not necessarily bad. And I guess I don't need to be in control of your troops anymore, Romania. You guys can go, yes, I'll give back control of your troops to you. But you better use it wisely, because I've already got you guys in a good position to go start invading. So please, help invade. And let's see, do-do-do... And let's see, so I already should have enough war score on you guys to do stuff, right? Yep, add war score. So what I'm going to do, free allied course. No, I'm going to acquire... What specific region do I need? Uh, Tripolina. Okay, so I need the Ottomans Tripolina underneath my control. Ottoman Tripolina, yeah. Once you give me all that, then you guys are free to die. Okay, are you guys literally... Dude, my men are more advanced than you Ottomans. Don't do that. That's like suicide. No. I mean, I like this, but I, I won't deny, but you guys are being really idiots. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have gas attacks. Yeah, that was not a smart move on your guys' part. Oh, gosh. You guys just killed. Those men are going to all die very horribly. Oh, gosh. That's terrible. Okay, let me get back to over here. Um... Yeah, let's just start invading, invading a little bit of the Gaza Strip. Um, let's see. By the way, let's see. How long do I have this cause of Bella until 1900s? Okay. Just to make sure I actually do use it up. Because as you guys know, I sometimes have a habit of forgetting about Cosmos Bellies. And yeah, that becomes a really bad thing. But yeah, as you guys can see, we really... My Baltic allies are basically crushing all of the resistance over here. It's not even really a resistance. It's more of just me having fun. And it looks like... Yep. Just as I thought, I, I, I warned them, they basically, I, I don't know how you, I don't know how the AI could be that stupid just to charge into my flanks. Basically, point blank, they knew they couldn't make it, and then they're also going to die here because I just, I'm being kind of mean here by putting my men there before they do. And let's go right to the capital, the new capital of the Turkish Empire, or soon to be, soon to be just the Turk, yeah, soon to be just the Turkish Empire. I mean, basically, as soon as I take this last little colony here, they're basically reduced to being just the Turkish Empire. I mean, you could make some cases that maybe they're not just the Turkish Empire, but they're basically the Turkish Empire. Hey, you guys about done? Yeah, you guys are about done. So let's see. Do I want anything else from... You know what? Uh, you know what? This has been nagging me for a while now, you Netherland jerks. You know what I want from you guys? And I've been waiting for this for a long, long time. You guys are gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take my sphere back, uh, the Empire of Brazil, yeah, they're mine. So, you better give them back. 
Okay. Once you get back my Emperor Brazil, then we'll talk. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna have to wait till next episode, guys, for the thrilling conclusion of the war that really is. Yeah. I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.